For Minnesota-based meteorologist Alan Persons, the Marathon Classic is one of 14 tournaments across the country he's contracted to work this year for the LPGA. My main, main concern here is player and fan safety. One of the most important pieces of equipment that Persons has available is this mobile weather station located between the first and tenth holes. The bottom sensor on this weather station can detect when conditions are favorable for lightning. Obviously when you're on a, a golf course, you know, there's a lot of trees, uh, you're a lot of wide open spaces, you're right next to tents, uh, so you're, there's a huge lightning threat and, you know, to get to any sort of safety it takes time. So we need an advance warning and that's what I'm here for is to give that advance warning. Person says it takes about 10 minutes to evacuate players and fans from a course when the weather turns bad. But Persons is still at work even when the weather is quiet, providing daily forecasts for the players so they know what to expect. Players get my forecast at the first and uh, 10T, uh, so they'll look at that to kind of see what, what to generally expect as they're golfing through the day. You know, what are the winds going to do? What temperatures are they going to expect? And while Persons can't actually control the weather, he says he's been getting a lot of smiles with how nice it's been to kick off this year's Marathon Classic. Reporting from Highland Meadows in Sylvania, I'm NBC24 meteorologist Joe Thompson.